you know what I did do? I called some more. I said, look here, sister. Now I'm starting to date again, and I need to know how I'm supposed to fucking date. You know, because I'm not having luck with the Popeye's manager. You know, we broke up. So how the fuck can we do this? She said, bitch, you need you a big baller shot caller. Whatever the fuck that means. I said, well, how do I get a big baller shot caller? She said, look, bitch, you're from Baltimore. That's where the Ravens play. Take your ass down to the field where they practice. Wear your best shit, but put a helmet on because you might get tackled in the process. You're going to fuck around on the 50-yard line. So you got to, you know, you got to be prepared. So sure enough, I take my ass down to the field. Got on my best shit, my little mini skirt and shit, cleaved the job, standing there on the 50-yard line, waiting for a nigga to come talk to me or something. I'm chanting, go Ravens, go Ravens, go Ravens, go Ravens. Mm -hmm. Switch, go Ravens, go Ravens, go Ravens. <laughs> And sure enough, I get tackled, not on purpose, but you know, they ran over my side. Now, I got tackled by one of the star players, but I had to flip him over, let him know, nigga, I'm not no punk, I'm sorry, but you fucked me up on my back like that. So I roll him over. Now, he didn't play a lot last season because his back was fucked up. I apologized to the team, but shit, I had to let him know I'm not the bitch to tackle damn real hard like that. I don't know if he was playing or not, you came real fast up at me. And I got nervous when the nigga came, so I flip him over. So after he got up, I helped him up, wiped him off. He said, how you doing, Monique? I said, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. He said, I've been really following your career. I'm digging the Parkers, Showtime at the Apollo, your clothing line, your book. I'm into all that shit. But why you fucking with the nigga at the Popeye's? Hmm? How the fuck you know I'm fucking a nigga at the Popeye's? That's some shit you keep a secret. You don't let nobody know you fucking a nigga at the Popeye's when you on TV. So I'm like, well, how the fuck do you know I'm fucking a nigga at the Popeye's? He been following me. This nigga know who the fuck I am. I said, well, you know, it's over with. You know, I'm trying to get with me a big baller, shot caller. He said, well, I'm that nigga you need to be with. Then by now, my coochie's tingling. And I'm trying not to look at him in his eye, because my eyes are saying, I will fuck that raven bird off your jersey, nigga. You don't know me. Hut, hut, touchdown, nigga, touchdown, please. Please. I'm trying to keep my cool with him. I'm trying to keep my cool. So he said, listen, I have to go out of town tonight, but I'll be back Sunday. When I come in town, I'm gonna pick you up seven o'clock in the morning, and I will deliver you back seven o'clock the next morning. And I'm like, this motherfucker said he gonna deliver me back like I'm a package or some shit. And you know, I'm one of them heavy packages, so you gotta be careful. Now to fuck your back up, so just know what the fuck you're playing with. So sure enough, baby, he comes Sunday. Now this brother has a white Bentley with all white seat, leather seats inside. Now when he pulls up at my door and I open my door, there are white rose petals from my front door to his car, on top of red carpet. So I'm like this, motherfucker, hmm. We can fuck right here, we ain't got to go nowhere, I swear to God. We ain't got to go nowhere, nigga, it ain't even about the money. Please, 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 let me go put my helmet on so we can do some rough shit. I like that rough shit, bust me in my head, make a bitch bleed or some shit like that, let me know you fucking me. That's the kind of shit I'm into. So after that, he takes me to this spa. We go to the spa, and ladies, this is how you know a brother knows his shit. The masseuse undresses me. He stands in a corner and watches. Never ever says a fucking word. He just watches. Now I'm a little nervous, because nigga ain't used to seeing my protective pouch. I'm a little nervous. And I'm trying to suck it in so he won't see. He said, Monique, let it go. That's what makes you a woman. Let it go. Okay, nigga, you ain't said nothing. You ain't said nothing. Hmm. Hmm. So now when I get up on the table, it's a little narrow table. So I'm kind of hanging over on the side. I try to put a blanket up on me real fast so the nigga can't see my pouch hanging on the side. He said, Monique, let it go. So baby, now I am like, fuck it. This is my motherfucking man. This is the king. And as the masseuse is massaging me, he never says a fucking word. You know how your face is in a little hole in the chair? I'm like, nigga, just come stand yourself upon me, please. I'll make your game better. I got a trick I can show you in this little hole here. See, a fat bitch know how to keep a nigga. A skinny bitch too scared to do that. Nigga, come stand upon me. I will show you this trick I got. This brother never fucking moved. He stood there. After we got finished, he took me to the jacuzzi, just let me sit in the little tub, just never fucking said nothing. And by now, this is turning me the fuck on. I'm ready to do this. After that, he drives me off, dresses me. 
We go out to lunch, have a wonderful little time. He says, listen, I'm going to take you back home. I'm going to pick you back up in three hours to take you to dinner. Now, he knows a fat bitch is hard. We just had lunch. Three hours later, it's time for dinner. He know how to work a bitch. I'm excited about that. You other motherfuckers don't know what time it is, but he knew. Three hours, I know you're going to be ready for some other shit. I said, that's what I'm talking about. This is the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Three hours. So I get home, I'm waiting for him. He calls me and says, listen, I'm gonna take you to the finest French restaurant in the state of Maryland. So I'm thinking French. Okay, I hope all this shit ain't in French because I can't speak this shit. I don't want this nigga to think I'm ignorant. I don't have no culture because I don't know none of this shit. So when he picked me up, this time he has red roses from my front door to the car. We get to the restaurant and it's all in French. I said, okay, God, when we get in here, let the menu be an American because I can't, I can't read the shit. And, mm. We we fully cuckoo say I fully cuckoo. I'm trying to say shit that's gonna let him know, you know, I got a little culture with my shit. So when we get in there, sure enough, the shit is in French. So I gotta call some more. I gotta say, what the fuck? I said, bitch, it's in French. She said, let that nigga order for you. Don't let her know you don't know your shit. So after hung up, I said, uh, my king, order for your queen. He said, say no more. He snapped twice and the waiter came. All I heard was a la orange at the end of the French shit that he said. Now I got nervous with the Isle of Orange because I know I don't eat that kind of shit. Mm. It don't set right with me, I know it don't, I know it don't. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm like, okay, 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 bitch, okay, bitch, don't let him see you sweat. Just stay calm with your shit, stay calm with your shit. So when it came, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna eat two bites and say I'm full because we had lunch three hours earlier. I know how to play my shit. When it came, I said, well, what is this? My king, he said, that is the duck a la orange. I said, mm, okay, that looks good. So as I started cutting it, he took my fork and knife and said, please allow me. And he cut it and fed me every piece of that fucking duck a la orange. And he switched it around in the gravy because he know fat bitches like little sauce on his shit. So he switched it all around in the gravy. So baby, after I sat there and ate, all of that duck, I don't mm. I start getting nervous because it wasn't setting right. And my stomach, oh, uh. oh, and I say to myself, oh, I got a shit. Oh, I got a shit. And sister, you know how you got a shit real bad? You get that shit look. <clears throat> look like you saying, ha, ha, ha. Baby, I'm sitting there and I'm panicking because every fucking body is gone out the restaurant. And I know if I shit in the restaurant, I'm going to fuck it up for everybody in there. And this nigga going to think I'm nasty. So I'm sitting there trying to hold the shit in. I'm trying to hold the shit in. I said, okay, if I just walk with it. If I just walk with it, it'll suck back up, turn into a fuck. Let me just walk with the shit. I'm going to walk with the shit. I'm going to walk with the shit. Then I start playing Groundhog Day. Come out, come in. I said, oh, shit. Please, 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 just let me fart, just let me fart. Please let me fart. Baby, that fart would not come out to save my fucking life. So I said, okay, okay, bitch, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Now he got white leather seats. So I'm like, please, please don't let me sit in this car, God, please. This my husband, please don't let me sit in this nigga car. So when I sat down, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put my window down and turn my ass like that to the side of the window. <laughs> Let the shit go out the window, he won't even know I done fucked up the ride home. Well, as soon as I press the button, it start raining. I said, ain't this a bitch? Oh, I a shit! And let me tell you something, black men, when we have to shit, we have no fucking conversation for your ass. Cause we scared if we talk a little piece of poop gonna come the fuck out by itself. You having a good time? Yes, nigga, drive! Blow up in this motherfucker, please. Mm -hmm. All this just quacking. That duck is quacking. Like, bitch, we can race set it off. Do something. So I'm sitting there, say, okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Calm down, mommy. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, as soon as the song come on the radio, just tell him, say, turn it up, turn it up. And when you turn it up, you just go and release yourself. Act like the music's some motherfucking funky. It just stunk up the car. 
So we sitting there, baby, and they just talking. I'm like, just please play a fucking song, please. Then they played Jay-Z, and that's my song. It's that hardcore rap shit. Jigga, what's my motherfucking name? Jigga. Baby, before that third Jigga could come out, that duck got to quacking in my stomach. I just turned my face to the side of my window. Cause I knew I was gonna fuck up our friendship. As soon as that shit caught him right around here, I knew it was gonna be over with. He kept talking about some bullshit. I said, mm-hmm, 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 Jigga. <laughs> Baby, and I watched his ass react. He was trying to be cool with it till it got the simmering on his ass. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you, you stinky bitch? What the fuck is wrong with you? Shit, my stomach hurt, nigga. Shit. <laughs> Better. Let's get some ice cream, nigga shit. <laughs> that nigga ain't never called me no more. Fuck Ray Lewis, shit. <laughs> Atlanta, my name is Monique. God bless y'all, baby. Thank you so much.